Okay, just got the new Nash S25 foils. Haven't unboxed them yet. I've got last year's version just here. I thought we'd get this out, have a bit of a look at it. Hopefully it's in here. Nice heavy duty bag, similar to last year's. Not too different so far. Open her up. We've got the new wing. First thing you notice when you get it out, similar sort of shape and size. Doesn't appear to be exactly the same, but a lot lighter. We can actually stick a pair of scales on that. We just did. We're coming in just under a kilo and about a kilo and a half. So it's a significant amount when you're talking about that. Looks pretty good. We'll put that one there, this on the side. Next, we'll get out the body. Again, aluminium, all Torx screws. So we get the two bodies here. You can see that it's been hollowed out in between to remove excess material. Next comes out the mast. Big difference here. Wow, like a lot lighter. Welded on the top, joined together so that it's all one piece. Plate on here so that it'll fit the old body and the new body, which is pretty clever, but it's actually a wider mast. We I put it next to the other one, you can see it's quite a bit wider. It is a lot lighter. This with the top plate and the extra fittings on the bottom and all the screws in is lighter than the same size mast from last year. You can see the difference between the two there. Putting that down there again. In a second, we'll put the whole lot together and then we'll weigh it all together. We'll be able to tell you what the difference is that way. Get in here. Rear wing again. Same sort of size we had last year, but again, a lot lighter than we had last year. Different colouring. And we've got a torque spanner, which we'll be able to use this year. Awesome. If I can get the plates of plastic off it. Bolts and screws to go onto your board. Okay, let's have a look at assembling it. We'll start off by putting the front wing on. We'll keep it up off the concrete. I look inside there, we've got stainless steel inserts in these now. Which means you can get a lot more tension on them. They won't rust, won't cause problems. Once I've assembled all this, I will take these all apart and put a bit of never seize and on all these screws because I always do if they're going in the water in any case. I'll use a bit of Tef gel. It acts a bit like Loctite and a bit like a, a lubricant at the same time. So this mast is supposed to be 50% stiffer, was what they were claiming. It's a lot lighter, which they are also reclaiming, so it should definitely be an improvement. You can see out of here, that's a nice tight fit on there, but still, should fit the old ones as well. Yeah, still fits the old ones too. Extra reinforcing so that it's not going to have movement in there, this whole shaping. So when you got it on there, it's a lot tighter fit. No longer moving around in the channel so much. You can see again there, nice and snug. 
fits on there. Even without the screws, it's a lot tighter than it was. Okay, so having just weighed both these, there's a significant weight difference between the two of them, even with the 100 mil shorter mast on this one here. This one we're looking at just under five, and this one we're looking at just under four, you know, 3.8, 3.9 kilos. It actually doesn't sound like much, but it is like, what, 20% at least when you're talking about that. And you can really, it's noticeable when you pick it up. The other thing that's noticeable is, this is really rigid and tight. This one's pretty good, but it's still got a bit of movement just there. You had to really make certain with these that you tightened everything up. Whereas this one I've just banged together, honestly, and it doesn't seem to have any movement in it at all. So very impressive. You can see that one, there's like a little teeny bit of movement in that, and that's pretty tight as it was out the water. And this one here, there's pretty much no movement at all. And I haven't really tightened it up. I haven't put any, all I've done is just put it together. So it feels really good. Can't wait to give it a go now.